Yesterday, Houston Police Chief Troy Finner met with the media with no recording devices, but today, KPRC2 investigates met up with Finner with our recording devices on. Investigator Mario Diaz caught up with the chief to talk about a specific internal memo from 2021 involving his inner circle, and that includes one former chief that Mario says Chief Finner described yesterday as brilliant. But now that same chief is part of the department's internal investigation. Here it is, an HPD inter-office memo from October 2021, obtained by KPRC2 Investigates through law enforcement sources. This document, part of HPD's inter-office correspondence. It shows the sender is Diana Poor, the Deputy Director of Office Planning and Data Governance. The memo sent to HPD Chief Troy Finner through then-Executive Chief Matt Slinkard. The subject, Circular for Case Suspension Classification. In it, Poor writes that HPD's system for data keeping involving the label suspended lack of personnel has been renamed to suspended. Poor then writes, this circular serves to notify officers of the change in labeling and guidance for use of suspended activity types. Then beneath it, messages involving Poor, Slinkard, and then Executive Assistant Chief Jim Jones, according to sources. Jones asking, is a circular necessary since this only applies to investigations? Slinkard on November 2nd, then writes, round to EAC Jones prior to Chief of Police, or COP, for Chief Jones review, then to COP. Jones then writes, recommend not issuing. The memo is stamped by investigations and special operations. What did Chief Finner have to say to KPRC2 investigates about this today? This is from 2021. Yeah. Have you seen um, this document? I'm not going to discuss the uh, investigation right now. As I told you uh, yesterday when I met with the uh, But yesterday media. you brought up this document that someone else look, had, but this look, one is stamped. I didn't bring up any document. You, 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 you brought it up. But look, no, yesterday you showed off a document listen, that, listen. Wasn't, that wasn't stamped. We're showing this to you that's, now. Yeah. It shows right here, Mark, recommended, yeah. not issuing okay. Jim Jones. Right. Slinkard says, route to EAC Jones yeah. prior to COP, Chief of Police for Chief Jones review. Yeah. Then he writes recommendation. Have you okay. seen this? Look, I'm not going to discuss documents of the investigation. Okay. All Let's, right. If you got the document, but Chief Chief Troy Fenner's not going to make a comment on that today. Okay. But once we once my investigation is complete. But this I'm is a document it. from your two top yep. guys. Okay. He's been asked He's got it. All right. Thank you. Additional mess messaging shows Chief Slinkard concurred with Jones, but said it should be issued as a standard operating procedure. By all accounts, it never was. As for Chief Finner, even though he knew of cases being suspended over two years ago, he never attempted to launch a full investigation or inform sex assault victims that their investigations had been suspended. KPRC2 Investigates will have more into this now nearly two-month-old scandal in the coming days. Live in the newsroom, Mario Diaz, KPRC2 Investigates.